Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as always, we'll be talking about our weekly Torah portion, Parshas Re'e. Uh, you shall see the difference between a blessing and a curse, choices, choices, but there's one word in our weekly Torah portion that appears more than any other Torah portion. It's the word Simcha, joy. And what is joy? Joy when we get a new car or get some new goodies or uh, we achieve something, we get a new diploma, graduation, but this is not complete. The, just the joy with the object, it's not enough. We always have to share it, either it's a selfie on Instagram or Facebook or you put it in the stories. And it's normal, understandable when Mark Twain said that there is no complete joy if you cannot share it with somebody else. And this is the same idea that goes through the whole places where the word simcha, joy, is mentioned in the Torah. It's always with somebody. This joy should be social, especially when we talk about the holidays, because in the holidays it says not only just share with your wife or share with your family, it says you should share it with your uh, sons and daughters, your workers, male and female, uh, with the uh, 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 but it adds four more people. It, uh, uh, you have to share it with Levites, with the uh, strangers, with the orphans, and with the widows. And all the, every time that the word Simcha appears in the holidays, it always adds those four. What unifies them all? What is a common denominator? They're all missing something. Yes, yes, Levites as well. The uh, tribe of Levi didn't have any real estate, couldn't support themselves. And once in our history, to be supported by the government, it was something not to be proud of. The strangers, they just don't have a place to celebrate yet. And uh, the widows and the orphans, it's obvious. This is a group of Le Miserable, but it's always mentioned by the Hashem and by Moshe that you should take care of my favorite ones, of my celebrities. Uh, but uh, it's not enough just uh, to feed the poor and something like that. The Rashi, the main commenter of the Torah, he kind of turns upside down the proportion. And he says very strange thing. He said, you take care of my four, and I will take care of your four. What he means, there's the words of Hashem, when he tells us, you take care of my favorite, those uh, Levites, uh, uh, strangers, uh, orphans, and widows, and I will take care of your four, your boys and girls, your workers, or, and your family. And yes, it's important to feed the poor and support people that uh, don't have uh, any uh, options to support, support themselves. But Baruch Hashem, we live in a time when there are not so many of those poor people that we really need to feed them. I think Rashi tells us something more than that. Because it says in Babylonian Talmud, in Masechet Brachot, Ein Ani El Badat. There are no poor person but in his or her mind. What does it mean? The poor person is somebody that doesn't know yet something. He is missing or she missing something. And I think what uh, in this case, what Talmud is saying, if you apply it to our weekly Torah portion, it tells about the people that is still don't know the joy of the Jewish holidays, the joy of sharing the holiday table with the words of Torah and all the goodies of and special symbols of Rosh Hashanah, sharing these voices of Shoifer or the comfort of the Sukkah or the dancing of Simcha Stoira. And I'm sure you have those people that still missing it. They still poor because they don't know the true joy of Jewish holidays. So now when we're standing in front of the Jewish holidays, the whole month of the Jewish holidays, invite them. Share with them your joy. And as the Rashi said, when you will take care of his, uh, of Hashem's poor who don't know yet about the holidays, he will take care of you, of your, uh, your family, your household, your children. Um, happy holidays. Shana Tova Umetoka. Good luck. I see you next week.